right, today we're going to be looking at the Ardent RDA from Times Vape and Tenacious Vapes. All right, so this is the Dreamer Hybrid RDA. So we, I also have the Dreamer here. We're going to take a quick look at that as well and show you why these two work so good together. So I picked up this RDA for review at NVE this year because so many people asked me to review it. Um, so here it is. All right, so the Arden is, I believe, 27 millimeters around. So 27 millimeters. I'm going to show you what it says on the back. I'll give you just a still shot there. All right, and let me show you what this thing looks like. So you get a menu in here. It tells you about the device and everything. I didn't look at it at all. All right. I guess because I'm so smart. Okay, so the Ardent, I got the polished stainless steel version. You get an extra drip tip here, and you get this clear drip tip on top. I forget which one came on. I really like the clear, though. All right, so I'm going to take a look at this in a second. Let's see what else you get. I actually have not opened this up at all yet. So let's see what else you get. That could be easier to come out. It's nice and tidy in there, but Jesus. You don't want to come out. Thank you. All right. Okay, I did go in here because when I received this RDA, the O rings on it were just complete trash. They were just so, they were just so um, loose. All right, so you get a little screwdriver, a little white one. It's a cool little screwdriver. Okay. Let's see what you did there. And you get extra O-rings, a squonk pin. You get extra screws with the springs for the clamps. And I'm having a hard time understanding what this one thing is. Oh, okay. It probably has something to do with the posts. Okay, okay. So you get two little drip tips here. Short drip tip short drip tip. I'm pretty sure that they are the same. They're just a different color. Alright, so I'm going to put that back. I quite like the clear one. Alright, so 27 millimeter around. This is what it looks like on the bottom once again. And this is just very well machined. It does feel, it, it's got some weight to it for an RDA. It's got these narrows on top so that you can easily or not so easily I just washed this so this has nothing to do with how the tolerances are on this it just once I wash things they get very stiff the o-rings it takes some juice to mess with them so you turn this up and down so this is all the way closed watch what happens when I open it it looks like two holes are open, then it looks like four holes are open, and then once you get to six, you're going to start seeing stuff in there. And I'll show you why when we take the cap off. All right, and you're going to see this line right here, which is something else we're going to go over. Ardent here. They got that hourglass shape there. And here is the deck. So you can see when you look at this deck. Right, that it is bottom airflow, but there's a big juice well, which I think this is pretty genius because the one thing about bottom airflow is it's probably the best way to get flavor, but it also can be very leaky. But what happens if you put if you're able to put the dish underneath the bottom airflow, then that's pretty awesome. All right, so with the O-rings that I changed out, this thing changed tolerances very well. I actually only changed out one O-ring, and I like the tolerances on it much better. All right, so there's 10 holes here that you could open or close, and when you open them up, it opens up here. There is a notch in this. Some, there it is. There's a notch there. So that when you put it on, you can take it off your mod easier because there's a notch that stops it from turning all the time. All right. Flathead screws there. Not a big fan of flatheads, but whatever. 
All right, and you could see that the posts are very interesting very different from anything that I've seen before. It's kind of like a goon style, but there's something going on, right? So, let me get a flathead screwdriver. Let's get the one that they gave me. So here's what's going to happen. We're going to unscrew one of these screws here. We're gonna unscrew another screw. And you're going to notice something when I start unscrewing is that the post is going to start raising because there's springs inside of the posts. And what this is, this plate is actually covering the springs but still giving you a big opening to install into. All right, so this is a two-post design. One's positive, one's negative. And let's see how high this opens up. Now, I don't want to shoot a spring out of here. I don't feel like dealing with that. But let's see how high it's going to go. Well, that's pretty high. I can't see why I would need to open it up any more than that. All right. There is the airflow. When you install these coils, you're going to want to get them close to that airflow. Yeah, see, I, I'm not a fan of flatheads at all. Um, I just never liked flatheads. I think there's so many other versions, especially <clears throat> when you could do it. If you like flatheads, you can make a screw that's flathead and Phillips at the same time. So the fact that they're not that, it just, it always makes me wonder why not. Why, why not just make it a Phillips that could also be a flathead? You could do both. But it looks cleaner, I suppose, right? Yeah, sure. Why not? Okay, so actually I just noticed this. This is actually the notch that that cap's gonna catch on to. That's why there's a notch there that this cap's gonna catch on to to turn it on and off. So yeah, like I can't turn it any more than that, but I could turn it back. All right, so I do like how this is there to help turn. It is a big honking RDA. All right, so. Here's the thing with the Ardent that makes it a little special compared to other RDAs. So the Dreamer mod, also by Times Vape and Tenacious. All right, here's the Dreamer. Obviously, you could put other RDAs on top of this. You could put the Ardent on top of it. Just like any RDA, you could put the Ardent on top of it, right? Right. All right. Now, you could take the top off of the Dreamer. All right. And you could take the bottom off of the Ardent and make it a hybrid device. So it's an all-in-one, basically. So if you have a Dreamer, an Ardent would be a very good purchase. But we'll talk about that more when we hop up. So you take the center pin out, you unscrew this bottom plate, and you're going to see that right there. That extra screw I was talking about later is for that. All right. So you're going to pop that out. And then you will be able to twist this right on there. And it's going to make your battery connection just like the top bit would have. All right. And now look how cool this looks. Look at that. It's a nice shorty, but if you have a 2700 in there, it just looks real nice. It's a lot shorter. I mean, you're eliminating this whole sec these whole two sections. I mean, look how much space you're saving there. All right. So you're eliminating from there to there. And it just looks real sharp. Looks really good like this. All right. Close it all down, open it up. If you want to twist it off, just keep twisting. 
and there you go. Um, this does fit on a couple other mods. This actually fits, I did this in a live show, it actually also fits on my Ronin X2, which was pretty cool. It just doesn't look that great on there, but it does fit, especially since there's a bevel here. But if you have a threaded mod like this, that's around 27 millimeter, I mean, you could try it out, make sure you're safe about it, but you could. I mean, it goes on there. So, I mean, you'd have to be very lucky for that to happen. I don't know how many mods are gonna actually do that, but um, the Ronin X2 is one of them and it works proper and everything all right so now um let's see how this deck actually builds it's definitely an interesting deck let's do our um our coil our uh, coil section of my videos here where we're going to take a whole bunch of different coils and try them out see how they work out all right all right let's do it all right, so I will be doing an install in this video too, but I just like to go through and show you a couple builds. So if you're just a basic round wire person, guy or girl, does not matter. It's gonna work out for you. And it's holding these wires very, very well. This is 24 gauge. You don't have to space them, but you probably are gonna have to have long leads, um, especially if you don't space them, all right? But it fits in there good installs nice and they're really in there i mean these things ain't going nowhere let's try something out like a fuse clapton all right so not fuse claptons but aliens three core 27 gauge aliens um these were compressed they weren't a space wrap but that's exactly what's going to happen with this since this plate is kind of making it a, a two posts that they're far apart these coils are going to install, it's going to grab them really good, but it's going to space them out. Now we can just pinch them when we give it a little bit of heat, pull them back together. The leads are going to be a little bit longer, but that's just what's going to happen. It's going to be like a two post where the posts are this far away from each other. You know, that that's just what it is. Because once it hits the peak of this plate, it, they're just far apart just like any it, I mean a lot of two posts but this is a 27 millimeter deck so they're pretty far apart all right so this is gonna happen but it handles the aliens they're gonna look a lot better with heat these aliens have seen so many RDA so they're already not looking perfect but I mean it happens um, I actually had aliens in here when I was vaping it and they were very tight together and they were working really well actually they are right here. They were actually six wrap. Six wrap worked out a lot better for me. But you could see the leads are pretty freaking long. All right, longer than they would be in most RDAs. All right, so let's see. I um, wonder what series coils would do in here. Let's try them out. Some long old 10 wrap series coils. Yeah, buddy. Oh, yeah, now we're talking. See, series coils are freaking awesome in here. Um, these fit in there very nice and look how the air flows hitting like that entire coil oh I gotta try some series in this because this looks very promising I actually quite like how these fit in there let's try something like uh, pitchfork alright so it looks like this thing's gonna favor the bigger coils now I didn't want to push, tighten this down all the way. There's still some give in this. It could go down all the way. It would fit just fine. But since I use these particular coils in all my videos, I'm afraid that that peak, that peak in that in that plate system, may ruin my leads for later videos. So. If you're not me, it's gonna work great for pitchforks. But since I need these coils to keep nice leads. I can't clamp it down right now, but it wouldn't ruin the wrap here, which is important, all right? In fact, I'll do one of these. Let's just tighten down one of them so I could show you. I'm gonna tighten it down all the way just to show you that it's not gonna ruin the look of the coil. It may just be messing up the leads on the inside. I think you get the point. If you look right here, it looks fine. This one's screwed down all the way. All right. Now let's um, let's get creative and like 
let's see a cage build real quick. Let's see how cage build we're doing here. A nice tall, tall build with some tall leads. All right, so I did get another cage build for these videos here. A couple interlock aliens. And you can see how many leads are actually going in there and how tall it is. You see this guy here? Pretty tall. It's basically three coils stacked on top of each other is what's going into there. All right, so um, let's do a stove top. And uh, yeah, let's do a stove top. All right, so stove top's not going to be my favorite coil to put in here just because it's going to get covered up mostly by the deck, but it does go in there. Um, stove tops you more have to build to the deck, so you could get this to look even nicer. This came out of another deck, and, uh, you know, I just use it for these videos. But, hey, it goes in there. It's a two-post, so, yeah, it goes. I got one more coil, and then we'll do a build in here, and um, then we'll take it up top. All right, so an inception in most two post decks just ain't happening, especially with this plate. It's just not going to happen. Does that mean all inceptions can't fit in here? No. It means an inception like this that's made more for a, for a post isn't going to fit in there. It's not a make or break thing. It's extremely nitpicky. It's just not going to fit in there. It ain't happening. So inceptions fit in a lot of decks, but they also don't fit in some decks. All right, so let's just do our... Uh, our regular build inside of here and I'm just going to use some blemished stainless steel fralians all right so I had these sitting around here for a while not getting used so let's do it I got a couple blemished stainless steel fralians frame staple aliens all right so since this is these posts are so far apart, I would like to put an extra wrap in each of these coils. So this is around a three millimeter bit, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to get a three millimeter bit, and I'm going to put an extra wrap in each of these coils since I have the leads to do it with. I'm just going to take one. Wrap it like that. Now, I am going to want to bend my leads on the same plane. So I'm just going to put that quick L in there. And just put a little bend in my leads. And I'm going to do that to both. This is definitely the uglier of the two coils, but I'm going to get that looking a lot better once I show it some heat. All right. So you want to have your posts up, but you don't want them up too much. This looks like plenty enough. You don't need them up a whole bunch because you don't want to be twisting down a flat head for three hours. All right. I'm going to get one lead in there, one lead in there. You always start with the taller lead. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get it positioned where I'm probably going to want it right over that airflow and once I get it right where I want it then I'm going to cut both leads on this first coil then I'm going to take this first coil out and put it to the side I'm going to get the second coil and I'm going to do the same thing without taking the second coil out so I'm going to grab this I'm going to position it where I'm probably going to want it when it's all said and done and I'm going to cut the leads, but I'm not going to take this coil out this time. I'm going to leave it in there, push it up against the posts for now. I could even cut the leads a little more if I want. This deck, you'll be able to do that because the posts are pretty deep. All right, I'm going to leave him in there. I'm going to get out my other coil. Oops. I'm going to get out the other coil and what I like to do is I like to put one on top and one on the bottom. So I like to interlock my leads on two post decks. I don't like to put one coil 
the leads both on the top. I like to interlock them like that. I don't like to just put one on top of the other. Interlock them. All right. So once I got that, I'm going to want to kind of center my coils and also pull them out away from the posts because that's where I'm going to want them for this airflow. All right, they don't have to be perfect. Just get one side perfect. So I get one post perfect where I'm going to want it. I'm going to get that screwdriver. Hold my coils there. And I'm going to twist down one screw and twist down the other. All right. Make sure my coils are where I want them before I do the next post. Twist down one screw and then twist down the other. Let's tighten all of them and then I'm just going to go back in. I'm going to position my coils where I'm going to want them. Wow, this one looks really ugly. That's okay, this one looks good. So you see, I get them coils kind of down and right over that airflow. So that airflow is going to go right up and under the coil and shoot up towards the mouth hole. All right, so um, let me get some heat on these coils, especially this one. It's looking like garbage. All right, let's do it. Nice threads on this, as you can see. Let's get my Vaporesso Lux. Get this on top of here. Did I put that screw back? I did put that screw back. All right, and when pulsing, one, two, three. Two, three unlocked. I'm gonna put my ohms down. I'm getting 0.1 ohms for now, 22 watts, just to pulse these coils. I don't like pulsing at too much heat. It's going to cause more hot spots than I need. And let us pulse. Now, cool fact, this screwdriver is also three millimeter, which I like quite a bit because it's going to help you build your coils and stuff. Pulse, pulse, pulse. I'm going to start seeing yellow soon. I'm just pulsing at that 22 watts. Now, since this one's messed up, I am going to squeeze it a bit. Because I want it to kind of fix. I'm going to see them yellows. All right. Now, after I start seeing some colors and I pulsed for a little bit and I got some some wiggling going on I'm gonna put the ohms or the watts up to about 40 all right now I'm gonna pull some more see some more heat and some more color Coil's not looking quite as bad as it was. Getting some nice colors on these stainless steel fralians. All 
And let's see if they're starting to glow evenly now. If there's any hot spots. Stainless steel, I don't want to pulse them way too much. Because that's just how stainless steel is. I'm almost not against just spacing these frallians a little bit. This way I don't really have to worry about it. I quite like spaced frallians sometimes. Looks like I'm doing good. So right at the end. Tighten these screws. One more good tighten. And that's that. Now we just gotta wick it. Alright, let's wick it, Steely Dan. All right, so this juice well is super deep. All right, so obviously we're gonna need a lot of cotton to get down there. It's almost like dead rabbit deep. It, it's pretty damn deep. So we're gonna have to just keep that in mind as we wick this and cut our wick the proper size. So what I'm gonna wanna do is pull my wick through all the way until it looks like that would be the end right there get some scissors make sure I leave it a little long you can cut it on an angle if you want then we could turn this guy around get him in there Pull him through, so pretty long leads you're going to want on this thing, alright? And I think that's pretty much how much you want, so basically the size of the coil. You want a lot, I mean this thing's pretty deep. This might be a little too long, but it's not a crazy amount really. We'll cut it down a little bit, alright? Let's get that in there. Obviously you don't want it clogging up. You don't want it clogging up that airflow at all. So we definitely move it away from there. I'm just gonna juice this up with some Adore E-Liquid Sinful Apple Roll. Alright, so this thing is going to hold a lot of juice, and I'm going to take it up top, throw it on the Dreamer, and uh, tell you what I think. Alright, top side with the Ardent. So, of course I had to have the Ardent on the Dreamer mod, because they go together. Hybrid and these two together are awesome, especially if you have them stacked if you have The stacked dreamer with the ardent. That's probably awesome, especially after I show you how them series coils go in the ardent All right, so Really good flavor off of this especially for a 27 millimeter it vapes a lot better than most 24s. It just got really, really good flavor. 
and that's what I like about it. That and the combination between this. So right away, I'm just going to go to Aliens game. I'm an alien sent down to Earth to steal Grim Green's vape gear that he has on his desk. Do I pick this up? Me personally, no. I didn't even really want to buy this. Just people asked for a review on it. But now that I have a dreamer, thank you, Mr. Brian Feeney. Now that I have a dreamer, this combination is awesome. Build-wise, I'm not a huge fan of how this thing builds. I don't like the flatheads. Is it easy to build on? Yes. Is it for a coil builder? No. It fit a lot of them coils in there, but it was difficult, man. Like, I had to do eight coils in these videos. <clears throat> and for instance, I did the um, Ocula while I was doing this one as I was recording. And the Ocula was like... And the Ardent was just... It was, it was kind of a pain, man. But, um... Once I got it down, it was good. I don't want to say it was a pain. Just compared to something like the Ocula, putting all them different kinds of coils in there, the Ocula was easier. The Ardent just vapes really good. It looks good on the Dreamer. I don't necessarily like how it looks on other things. It's another thing. It's a very good RDA, especially if you have a Dreamer. If you have a Dreamer and you're an alien, sent down to Grim Greens, you grab it. If I'm an alien and I don't have a dreamer, I'm probably not going to grab it. If they're both sitting there, awesome combination. It's very airy. Very, it's, it is very, very airy. But I think that the best part of this is the flavor and that how damn good it looks on the dreamer. And that's basically all I got for you, man. Um... I, I like it. I do like it. It's just not something I would typically pick up unless I had a dreamer. All right. So um, lots of people have a dreamer, though. That's the thing is like so many people bought a dreamer. So this thing, there's a place for this. And I love RDAs that can go hybrid device with their things. Like um, I have a sub ohm innovations that does the same exact thing. I love it. I fucking love it. So that's all I got. Everybody have a good day. I will have a Patreon up probably when this video is up um, if you want to support the channel. Uh, check me out on Instagram and dot divine 83 same as my YouTube, same as the Patreon. Um, hit like, subscribe, comment. Check me out when I'm live. Comment during the lives, and I'll see you in the next one.